you live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> This is the Going Deep Show. You ready? Hail Satan. Satan. Fighting for evil, good is dumb, going deep show. Hi, it's me, the kid. Joining me, partner in crime, baddest bitch in the biz. Nobody does it better. Nurse goddamn Fiona. What's up? Literally. How's it going, girl? Literally. If you'd like to reach our show, studio at going deep shows email. Do that up, fire it up. Today's episode is going to be story time as usual here. That'll get you fired. That'll get you fired. That'll Which, get me fired. I'm like trying to. I, I, what's interesting about the story I'm about to tell you is this person I was I just invited back to do the show just this week, just in the last 24 hours. I invited this person back to come in and do a podcast. I'm not going to reveal who it is because it would just be, it would spin the world out of control. It Don't just, it really cause was. that. There's lots of spinning of worlds already. We can't have what's going on. We can't cause more problems here. We're causing, Maybe. we want more joy in the world. Yeah. Can I smell your dick kind of joy? <laughs> <laughs> Can I smell your dick? I never heard that song, but now it's going to be in my head forever. <laughs> so here's the story, everyone. Buckle up, motherfuckers. It's story time. No, we can't use that. That's the Baroni music. <laughs> Listen, that story is only for Baroni serious stuff. Fabulous. Here's the deal. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now. I was a dastardly piece of shit asshole who would do anything to just feel better about himself for many years. Mm. Okay? Mm. It's an awful thing to do, but it, at the time, while the thing's going on, you're just like, this is making me feel good, so why would I not do that? Can you know? smell your dick? <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> the one night I'm out bar hopping, which I tend to do from time to time, I'll go out with my friends and have some bouncing around time. Well, there was a buddy of mine, and she was at a bachelorette party. Mmm, fabulous. Down on the Midland Street area. Literally. I was done with my bar hopping for the evening. It's about 1.30 in the morning, quarter to two. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> Closing time. <laughs> right, Closing time. <laughs> oh my God. She just swallowed a dick over there. I gotta swallow, not inhale. She got a fucking dick in her mouth. Can I smell your dick? Can I choke on your dick? Can I choke on your... Oh, you know, that's like cum. <laughs> So I'm driving home. Everybody who knows the town here, there's a big road where all these monstrosities of a, of how homes are. These huge old lumber baron homes, you know. Oh yeah. So I'm there. I'm I'm right by those houses, which is only probably a half a mile, a quarter of a mile away from my house. I get a message from said person who's at her bachelorette party, drunk off her fucking ass. Right. That'll happen. And she's uh. I'm like, do you need a ride home? So she lives in Midland. Mm. This individual lives in Midland. <clears throat> it was her bachelor party. No, it was somebody. It was like. Well, she was at the bachelor party. She was at it. She, okay. It wasn't for her. So I've done this from time to time where I will be the I will be the quote unquote good guy and I will show up and I'll pick up the person and I'll take them, get them home, make sure that's okay. I had no business being on the roads at this point, okay? <laughs> I was quarter of a mile from my home I go home I could just have gone home what do I do what do you think I do nurse Fiona if you were to guess what does the kid do instead <laughs> mm, oh, but, but, but booty call I didn't think of it as a booty call at the time though but I did go and pick up my friend at the bar at the middle I circle back and I go back and I pick her up but it all equates to a but but booty call in the long run yes it's a but but booty call so I drive her ass all the way to Midland on the ride you know when you get drunk you know how it is you did get, she blow you no oh. did not blow me I got nothing to think about it. she should have been blowing me for she should have been blowing you my Uber costs are only one head job on the way to your place of living that can either be the most expensive or the cheapest uh, 
Sure she was wearing ever. these. She was wearing those like yoga pants deals. Did you jam your hand? I down? did. I I was driving, and you know you get frisky when you're fucking drunk. You're just like your hands yeah. start moving. You're starting yeah. to get the whittly diddling going on. So I slid the old hand down the pantalones, and I started to flick the bean a little bit. And well, yeah. I remember her saying vi- vividly. You can do whatever you want to me just as long as I get home. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was exactly what she said. Holy fuck. You can do whatever you want to me. I'm like, sweet. I got five guys that are going to beat the shit out of you. No, I didn't say that. I didn't We're going to beat that I pussy mean, up. If anything. Beat the pussy up. Beat the pussy up. She said anything. Beat the pussy up. She beat the pussy up. <laughs> you can't say I can do anything. She fucking, said anything. I'm gonna dip you in green paint and throw fucking cheese slices at you. <laughs> I'm gonna target feather your bitch ass. So we get back to her place, and uh, I remember we go in, and it's immediately to the bedroom, and it's immediately stripped naked. It's immediately us just going to town. And I remember at one point, I mean, we're so fucking drunk. We're just so wasted. We're just wasted. And it's those just like I vaguely remember. I remember positions a little bit. I remember a little about what's going on. I remember from the backside. But what I do remember is you put it in her butt. Waking up in a panic. I don't think I put it in her butt. No, oh. I maybe mean, fingered it, fingered her ass or thumbed her asshole or something like I that. I mean, that'll happen. We did doggy. I remember doggy style because it was like too. one of those moments where she made the decision that doggy was. This is the time for doggy. Well, you ever done that? Where it's like, okay, this position is over. You've done that? Yeah, oh yeah. You're like, I'm on to the new position. You almost <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, and she was on to the new position. And I think the back, part of me was very, very, it was like one of those rotation moves where I don't think my dick came out of her. Oh yeah, those are fun. I love those moves. Those oh, yeah. are the greatest moves when you can change position, but dick still stays inside. Oh yeah, oh yeah, been there. Yeah. It's the greatest yeah. maneuver. Yeah, oh yeah. So she does fuck a little yeah. spin move, Matrix style, and then bam, and then kept on going. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. So... I don't not I don't think I come because it's like one of those nights again where uh, this happens like too dick? often. Whiskey dick, it's but it's keeping on going. Okay. Blah 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 blah, oh. and then it's just the point where it's like, okay, I'm fucking falling asleep, passing on, ready to go. How many hours go by? You think? Uh, shit. It's like uh, uh, six hours. It's like <clears throat> next thing I know, it's like five thirty in the morning, quarter to six. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. I'm like, oh, fuck, Indy. Fuck, fuck. You're you're getting busted. Shit to the fuck, fuck, fuck. Oopsie, (laughs) goddammit. What the fuck am I going to do? You just drove everybody home. Right, but. Everybody. (laughs) Every (laughs) single body. You drove all of them home. (laughs) So I get up and I immediately jump in the shower. But I kind of coax her into the shower with me. Well, you know, because I want to have, yeah, I want to have a little well, fun yeah, still too. Fuck yeah. So I'm like, get oh, in the yeah. shower. I want to play with your body a little bit more. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. So we get in the shower, and then, then I had to. I remember I had to drive her to where her car actually was. It was like somewhere else. She was like at a, friend, at a friend's house or some shit, if I remember right. And then I had to bust my fucking ass back to town. So I drive my ass at a fucking <laughs> speed racer, man, to get back to town. Pew, pew, pew. So I knew. No, that's not a fact. I knew that. There were a couple of old co-workers that would always hit up the Tim Hortons. Yes. So I was like, as I'm pulling up, I'm just like, okay, I seriously cannot show up at the, I can't show up at the house and just wander up like not, like nothing's going on. I got to either at least go get some groceries or I got to, there's, you got to do some kind of purpose. I got to go get Mickey D's <clears throat> breakfast for everybody. There's sure. got to be some shit that so goes So you were on. just going straight to work? You weren't even going home? No, I, I had to go home before I went to. I was going to say. So what I did was I went and I met up with them at the Tim Hortons and I just walked in. I'm like, hey, what's happening, boys? How's it going? I went and I sat down and then, then it was... Uh, then the text messages I start firing to to the to the red one. Mm-hmm. I'm like, good morning, what's happening? I'm over at Horton's with Bob and a couple of guys. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> so awful. Straight from so the cheater's awful. mouth. It is. Fingers. It's awful. Do you ever think to yourself, like all the shit that you did? Yeah, you did it. It's like these adventures, like shit you see in a movie, which is what you kind of want your life to be. Nobody wants a boring Ned Flanders fucking life. I love the adventures. The adventures are fucking. What Except makes... for the ones where I get stranded in another state. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Those are no fun. Oh God. Oh God. 
But I don't recall yeah. Red giving me two shits about it or having to smell my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Can I smell your dick? She didn't care. Or she maybe she maybe she knew because it was like that pre-arranged situation, right? Yeah, it was. So this individual is going to be coming back into the studio in probably the next month to two months. So. She she yeah she was she the, <gasps> the one that 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 all this went down with. So I really Am would I like be there? yes I want you to be there yes <gasps> yeah, that, that's kind of that's kind of why I'm telling you this story now okay, okay. so that we can we can. Uh, can she know. smell your dick? <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> Did she smell your dick? No, but the funny part about it is not really the funny. This is even more fucked up now that I think about it. She's bringing a friend in who a very similar Ooh. thing happened with. And I, this will be the first. Oh, God. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm willing to. Re- no, I can. I think this will be a great. This will be great for the podcast. Uh huh. We can reveal that I was inside of both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! But the second one was not. It was another one of those drunk moments where I didn't even fucking go. So I'm having you, too many you ta- of these things. You tagged them both, but not at the same time. No, no. Did you ever tag them both at the same time? No, I don't think I would want to. But they've they've talked about having threesomes with. Then they have had they one of their other mutual friends who came in. They did have a threesome with. And uh, I think oh he's my. like I think he's married with kids and all that stuff now. But so, I, no, it would be. It, oh, it, now I think it would be. It'd be an interesting story. Telling these war stories, I think, is important to get out there so that our yeah. kids can listen to us and be very, very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fuck our parents; they're already disappointed. <laughs> my well, mine are pretty much non-existent or dead, so it doesn't matter. But I'm just I, like my dad looking and like looking for I don't know heaven or purgatory or wherever the fuck he's at, and he's like, my God. So tell me, like, is there any stories that are like that where, I mean, think about pretty what, much all my fucking think about stories. what I did there, though. That is just not good. That is uh, an awful thing to because t- you're in you're in complete self-preservation mode. It's all you're in uh, at that point. You, you know, you fucked up. You're like, oh, fuck, I am fucked. Oh, I don't know. I mean, you really want some self-preservation stories. Maybe get brony on this motherfucker. <laughs> Time for your stories with Rudy. No, no, we can't, we can't do that. No. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We've told- I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We've established this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is what happens I'm when you so drink sorry. in the afternoon. Not sorry. I'm sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new segment that's coming, everybody. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry, but kind of sorry. <laughs> But not really. <laughs> but see, all the stories and shit, like, that's... <laughs> what, what it boils right down to, the people you hang out with that you can get along with, I think, are the ones who can handle your stories and just not judge you as much as you think you're going to get judged by everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, I feel like I have I do have some friends that would maybe look at me a little bit differently, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> like, you think? I've got some friends that are... Uh, that can they, they can relate to my story. I think everybody's got these stories. They just hide them. They they bury them so deep inside that they, they pretend like they didn't exist. But everybody's done this stupid shit. Even I have one friend who's been the other woman for like twelve years. For twelve years. Twelve. Does years. she enjoy being the other woman? Does she have the she, freedom to do what she wants to do with she, other guys and she, stuff? Well, she doesn't do anything with other guys because nobody would do them with her. But uh, wait a sec. So she's she's not me. So she's a little she's bit. Amaz- she's an amazing person. She's she, a great person. But. Is she super pervy, though? Oh, fuck yeah. See, there's something about that. You don't need to be the gorgeous, perfect specimen, you know, like you. You don't need to be that. But the fact of the matter is, you are the combo that <laughs> most guys, like, most. the sick, twisted, fucking warped mind just fucking run your mouth say it like it is and then you look how you look you are like a little you're you're almost a unicorn you're a unicorn i'm not almost a fuck i'm a motherfucking unicorn I, shit i know god damn like, so but, but back to what you're saying though this woman may not be quite the no but, but, but she's she's, a, she's an amazing human being and she's probably and she's, fucking hope funny she's funny and yeah and she's and, pervy and dirty and, and shit. she can also write you prescriptions can she suck a mean dick um i'm gonna say probably because there are there has been a couple of ugly bitches in my life who i've always thought like okay i don't think you're attractive whatsoever but how you're this persona Oration? that they put out there is very like appealing you know what yeah, i you know, know what oh, i mean yeah 
Yeah. Well, you've talked about that. You've talked about I your attraction to physical, like the, the. I don't. My the physical attraction situation is not for me. Like I, I'm. I mean, it definitely comes into play to an extent, but like the personality. It's is, a bonus if it is that way. You yeah, know. Yeah. Oh yeah. But it's, it shouldn't be everything. No. No, it's not. It's not as much for girls as it is for guys. I think and the guys need to have that. That Probably. thing that they've kind of attained, I guess. Men are very visual. That's mm-hmm. why. That's why I'm sure there are more, way more men who watch porn than women. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. That's probably true. I mean, think about it. Like you, like as a, as a dude, you can watch everything that you do too. Like pretty much, you can like fucking bang a chick and watch it from this, you know, from mm-hmm. the front. You can fucking bang her from the back. You can bang her. You can watch everything you're doing, mm-hmm. and that is like. Tell me that doesn't turn you fucking it turns even me on. more. It turns exactly. me on to the point where I, I have, this is going to sound so crazy, but I have, before I know a session is going to go down with somebody, sometimes I will set up a light or a candle in a certain angle, knowing that it's going to shine on my wet, veiny dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I'm dead serious. That's fantastic. Because it's just, there's something about like seeing that, which keeps, gets, gets that fucking. Good call there. You know? Oh, it, yeah. Because otherwise, you might oh, as well yeah. just be humping a fucking pillow. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Visual it's is. something about seeing Visual that. is actually, well, it's not just visual, but it's like also like verbal. Mm-hmm. For me, verbal. Mm-hmm. Oh, know? yeah. I have some recordings in my phone. I've heard them. They're great. Like the dirty fucking shit that comes out of a mouth while, I, you know. And I'm like, yeah. Dude, my ex, I could turn her on like crazy blondie there. Yeah. Fuck, I could turn myself Holl- on with some Hollywood, of the dirty shit man. I say. I would get, I, yeah, she would get, so, I've never seen anybody like her get so wet so fast from just words. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. Uh, reminiscent. <laughs> reminiscent. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> I, I just fucking can't. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Every time that song comes out, now that's over. That's the fucking brownie tune. <laughs> I doubt that. I doubt he fucking listens to this shit anyway. He's yeah. listening to every word you're saying. He's I listening to everything. We yeah, well, if so he was, then he wouldn't <clears throat> be such a fucking idiot. And piss. Listen, we all like him. We all like him for reasons that... Oh, I love that fucking yes, asshole. Yes, we, we do. We enjoy him around because it makes you happy. It's true. But it's just a matter of how happy he can make you. And he just <laughs> apparently, timing is everything. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, timing is everything, and it's just now is this not the time? Oh it, well. It'll, what if it's too late? What if that lightning goes away? Well, the lightning is right here, sitting in this chair. It's hard to think about that. It really is. It's unfortunate. So unfortunate. I just realized that it looks like our 20 minute audio bed just took a fucking dumper on. <laughs> We're 18 minutes and 47 seconds into this. No warning. Yeah. No, it's fine. We're still, we still have like a minute and a half left here, but it's just, we're not going to have any outro. So we'll, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see what time we got here. Two, two fifty. Yeah. Let's just go to the extra five minutes for y'all. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's talk about shit that's coming up here. Yeah. Um, when are we stealing the hot tub again? Cause I really was thinking about this the other day. My we body. could probably do it today even. What time is it? Do you want to do it today? Yes. Let's do it today. I have to I have to let the kids watch themselves for a little while, but I have pizza, so fuck it. Let's do I would really like that, I think. And let's what go pick up go pick up the mini and the uh you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna sh- oh I'm gonna text her right now. I'm gonna be like, hey, what are you doing? Yeah, because I think I I just need this. I need my body my body needs it. I need to relax a little bit. We can only do half of it Some because bubbles. somehow the the cover like the something busted. And she's like, it happened sometime around New Year's. Shut the fuck up. We didn't do it, did we? No. Fuck no. No. I don't think so. I don't think we did. No. But I no. But, but again, I can't. I'm not going to say definitively whether or not we did or not. If we did, if, if we did, I don't. We did not intentionally. Obviously, I mean, we're not that much of a piece of shit. I mean, come on. No, but if it was, I would definitely pay to fix that. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So yeah, we're not fucking shitheads. We're not shitheads, even though I told the story about. Banging some chick and waking up and deceiving my wife. So shit rolls. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna send her a text message. Write me out. Because it, <sighs> the, the temperatures seem to be decent for it right now. Dude, can I smell your dick? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Yeah, 
It'll be a good time, everybody. I, I think this would be a good opportunity for us to talk about uh, going to the website and buying some stuff. Go to there. Go to the, G, the GDS.com. There's a merch store there. You can buy the new shirts that we have out the uh, I Violate Community Standards. I'm making stickers of that. I thought they should. Ha- we should have stickers of that for the cars. Yeah. I'd love that. You know, we need to make, make a Nurse Fiona edition. Oh. I get fired for break, for violating <laughs> community <laughs> standards. It's true. It's I'm just true. gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take like one of those red looks like a stamp, and just put like a like they stamped over it. Mm-hmm. You're fired. And just pop right over top of the thing. Oh, are you gonna drive by the office again? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Make sure you beep your horn. <laughs> Why? Because I'm. Not You're going such to. an instigator. I always do. I always do. Do you? That's how Brony knows it's me. Because right. because I always beep when I go by, but I'm not. Wait a minute, where's this song? We can't play. We can't say the name of the <laughs> song. <laughs> but I'm not gonna drive by today. But then why would you want me to do that? Because it will be a different sounding horn. I'm not here to poke a bear. It's not to poke a bear. No how it's cute, not to poke a bear. No how cute and cuddly. It is. doesn't matter. He, he, number one. Number one. He ain't listening to this shit anyway. He's you know listening. I doubt it. I would be offended if he doesn't listen to me. Well, I would be offended too, but you know what? I'm already offended, so whatever. I'm offended. I want Brony and I to do a show. What do you think? It could be called the How to Fucking Disappoint Your Woman show. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. I'm not talking Don't to- claim that she's your woman and then treat her like shit I've and ignore there. her and I... fucking dangle her, fucking leave her hanging and fucking. Anyway. I've disappointed so many women over the Can course I of my smell life. smell your dick? <laughs> Go wash the whore off. It's funny. No, no, seriously though, I don't want to like. He, I, I, no, I don't want to either because I really don't want. I, he I, just can't. He's got to. I'd like what, to. I'd like to at some point maintain a friendship because yes, because the children do go there. I want a friendship with every person that I interact with. I want them to be more than friends and come into the do the show and podcast and tell me all their dirty secrets. Dirty secrets are where it's at. I like to, well, you know, I've been a dirty secret for those, this, basically this whole entire time, I'm, uh, you know, and, and except for like, you know. Is it crazy that we're going to reveal all your dirty secrets? Oh, whatever shit happens. Are you sure you're, gonna, you're not going to reveal all of them, are you? Well, we'll see where we, we're, so we'll see where it goes. This sounds like a threat. <laughs> we'll see, where, we'll see where it goes, because you know what? This sounds like a cheesy threat. <laughs> <laughs> no. I made a promise that I would never, ever, 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 ever do anything like that. And I keep, I, I keep my promises. Allegedly. I, when I say I'm going to do something, I fucking do it. I don't deny that. That's my, that's my biggest, that's my biggest fucking like motto is like, do what you say, say what you do. Yeah. That's why it's always good to avoid her saying she's going to chop your dick off because well, it's going to fucking happen. (laughs) I won't say that, you know. Uh, obviously, if things are in jest or, you know, quite outlandish, then no. I think one thing I think with this whole uh, end of our regular GDS not happening and not working, mm-hmm. this leads us into a great thing. Okay, we're at about the 24 minute mark. Okay. This is the last and we're going to do the last minute of the show. Yeah. And we're going to use another outro that everyone should be familiar with here on this show. Uh-huh. Right? One we've missed, one we haven't heard for a while because uh-huh. of what's going on. Uh-huh. Right? Don't you think we should use it? Uh, fuck yeah. Yeah. I oh, like yeah. it. Because of the... Cause of the that uh, was a Mr. Clean. That was like the same thing. Is your, is your clicker the... Oh, uh, that would be is my... It, that is that Mr. Yeah. Clean texting you? That was my teleo phone. No, it wasn't. Your soulmate. Your soulmate's texting. I hope to fucking God it's not my soulmate. <laughs> I don't think there's any one single soulmate for everybody. I think, I think everybody multiples, has multiple soulmates. Multiples. Yeah. 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 It's true. Just on a different plane. Mm-hmm. There's no one human being that could completely accomplish on all that. On a different level. Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? Purgatory. Yes, everybody. It's a tribute to our other favorite podcast. <laughs> Be sad. I know, I miss this. Everybody, make sure you listen to us. And these guys are coming back. They will, okay? Sometime. 